everyone and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be looking at fitting a 8 home 0.5 watt mini speaker in the ZX Spectrum next. Now if you've seen my previous videos I've already fitted a speaker from the Harlequin which didn't work too well it was a little too quiet and I tried fitting a motherboard speaker from a PC the little buzzer speaker the plastic drum thing uh, and that didn't work very well either that is also very very quiet and seemed to miss out some of the some of the frequencies that the spectrum was creating so in this video I'm going to try another speaker which I bought from eBay pretty cheap I'll put a link up so you can see them and I'm going to solder it in place see how it goes and hopefully this should allow me to uh, to hear the ZX spectrum in uh, in all its glory I don't want a particularly loud speaker if I'm honest um, I don't want to listen to loading noises particularly but it'd be nice to have some indication that the spectrum is doing something as you can see I'm pulling the spectrum apart it's nice and quick um, I did glue not glue I did use an adhesive two-sided adhesive to stick down the old speaker it's a little bit of a pain but it's nice and easy here's one of the two-way strips I think you've seen them you pull the back of the tab off and away it comes now it's never going to work properly because the speaker should in in this case the amplification comes through the sound resonating through the motherboard and the case itself of the spectrum so the speaker should point down as it is doing in the video here now of course I didn't do that in the other one simply because uh, I wanted to glue it down nice but what I've done eventually I found that if I put the speaker down flat onto the motherboard so the audio is coming through the holes actually in the PCB it is a little bit louder and of course I need to hold it there somehow so I put, I, I put a tiny drop of glue on the corner and I mean a minuscule amount it is nothing so I can if need be remove the speaker I probably won't I suspect this is it now I'm, I'm not going to change it again I've had the next in pieces probably a dozen times that'll do I don't need to go in there again um, so as you can see I'm going to solder the speaker in place I had a little bit of trouble here with the tabs one lead was a little bit long so I've bent it over too lazy to go and get my snips but it works perfectly well so hopefully this should all work well and should be good and it should eventually cure my uh, the sound problems and the speaker selection for the ZX Spectrum next I don't know what speaker they recommend I, re I would imagine it's I don't know 8 or 16 homes and probably a 1 watt this is 0 0.5 watt so it is a little bit quiet um, but I thought I'd give it a go and see how it goes and uh, hopefully it's okay like I said before I don't particularly want to hear the um, shrieks and uh, harsh noises that the ZX Spectrum creates but hopefully this will be all okay now what I've done out of short here is I'm going to put a little dob of glue onto the edge of the speaker put it in place so it doesn't move about and that's it it's fairly neat it seems to fit nicely over the PCB and hopefully the sound will come through the board so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place my camera the iPhone near the spectrum um, so you can hear some loading tunes some some music from the spectrum itself I'm going to try not to enhance the sound I might turn the volume up a little bit because it is it's a you know a beeper speaker it's quite quiet and um, hopefully it should work okay so thank you for watching have fun be safe and I'll see you in the next video